Hi everyone, it's Emma with Polly's Paper Crafts and I have got another scrapbook process video for you. So I'm using the beautiful um, papers from the Maggie Holmes Shine Collection that I received in my October Like Forever kit, um, which is a, Like Forever if you don't know or if you haven't watched my videos before, is a UK scrapbook kit company. Um, and I will post a link below in the description box so you can find out more if you would like to. Nicola, the owner, is fantastic and the kit club has just grown um, amazingly uh, in this year. She started it this year, I believe. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's fantastic and the best scrappy decision I ever made. Um, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I am using my kit for this layout and you saw a second ago there that I was using the uh, this blue heart paper which is beautiful, I love it. Um, it's got that sort of blue ombre. Blue is one of my favourite colours and in this Maggie Holmes collection there is quite a lot of like baby blues and teals and navies and they're just... They're gorgeous. So I'm using this paper. I very lightly, you saw at the start, put a thin coat of gesso just through the middle because I thought maybe I'll do some ink smushing, which I do actually do. Um, I end up covering most of it up, but I did it, so <laughs> the gesso was there. Um, and I've just mounted the whole piece because after I'd put the gesso on, uh, the pattern paper sort of warped and crinkled quite a bit. So I have mounted that whole thing on the baby blue cardstock that is a basil cardstock and that also came in the kit. Um, so I'm just sort of picking out papers to sort out my layers. Um, this photo is a photo of me um, from 2008. So quite a while ago. Uh, I must have been, what, 14, 13, 14? Yeah, something like that. Um, and I'm sort of crouched down in a gap in a brick wall and it's because we're exploring a castle or the ruins of a castle um, on the island that's in the middle of Loch Ness. Um, my brother was uh, based in Scotland um, and we'd gone up to visit him and just, you know, doing the touristy things. Uh, so he here, back to the layout. Um, I am doing my smushing and my flicking and that is using the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Cracked Pistachio which is fast becoming my favourite colour. Um, so yeah, I'd sort of done that all in on the background. I do end up covering most of it up but I love the colour. Um, so I'm just putting this music note paper down. I wanted something that was sort of a neutral there's an awful lot of blue and I wanted like a neutral just to sort of ground the photo and everything. Um, so I put one strip of double sided tape on the back of that and then really crinkled that up. There's loads of dimension and you'll see that in the still photos at the end. Um, and I'm just here I'm just using the grey pebbles washi tape that came in the kit as well. We got two rolls of washi tape. One is a chevron and one is a dot. Um, and they're, they're great just for putting all over the place and just adding a little bit of something. Um, so now I'm going through sort of my die cuts um, and seeing what I can layer. So there's that ephemera piece that's like, you know when you go for an eye test and you have to read the letters from like large to small? It's one of those. Um, and I just sort of cut it in half. Because I wasn't fussed about having it be, hey this is the thing you read when you go to for an eye test. Um, but I liked the cream and the black and it sort of tied everything together. So I cut it in half and those are two layering pieces. Um, so yeah, I'm just embellishing really. Uh, I really enjoyed this process and I really loved the, uh, the end result. It's the blues. The blues do it for me. Um, you can see as well just to the left of the photo, that pocket that I've just picked up, that is an, 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 um, an Amy Tangerine stitched pocket. Now to start off with, because we got six, 
in the kit. We got a full packet. Um, and to start off with, I was really struggling with how to use them. I didn't have a clue. I didn't know what to do. Um, but I've sort of got into my stride with them now. Um, but I didn't want it to say good stuff. I was quite happy with like the... I'm going to say sunburst, but it's not a sunburst. It's just like the flicky bits around the outside. Anyway, you know what I mean. I, I was quite happy with those bits, but I didn't want it to say good stuff on the pocket. So as part of the cut part sheet in the Shine collection, it had um, that blue. It was, it's meant, it was meant to look like a blue watercolour spot with shine printed in the middle. So I used my one and a half inch circle punch and punched out that piece, that bit that said shine and I've stuck that over the good stuff which I'm quite happy about my um photo will move slightly to the left so, uh, to the right sorry so you can see it know your lefts and rights Emma jeez um and I've also used the ephemera piece that had like the paint swatches uh that's gone into the pocket and I'm gonna do some journaling on the back of there and I put that key in the corner I don't know why it has nothing to do with the photo or anything like that but I liked the colour of it because uh, I thought I would bring in some gold so yep yeah, that's why I put it there. <laughs> um, I put that blue and gold banner in the top right hand corner of my photo because I just felt there was a bit of there's a lot going on to the left and there's a little bit in sort of the bottom right corner but I felt like there was a bit of dead space up that sort of top end so um, that banner from the shine sticker sheet uh, just filled it in quite nicely um, I also put a little pink heart sticker there as well and also after I turned the camera off sillily sillily silly I don't know um, silly me for doing it after I turned the camera off that's what I was after um, I put some gold foiled word stickers there that were from the Cedar Lane collection by Pink Paisley uh, and I just put some little stickers on that banner so it was a good place to put those and my title is going to be really boring and it's just going to be Loch Ness because that's where we were um, and I just used the shine gold alphas there as well so I'm going to leave you with some close-ups guys I really hope you enjoyed this video um, or this process I really enjoyed making this layout so um, thank you very much and I will see you soon goodbye